Range-finding binos are becoming all the rage in the field as well as for competitive long-range shooters. The obvious benefit is that you save weight and space with only a single device, but other benefits include getting a range faster and saving money with a single device instead of buying two. Vortex has had their Fury 5000 range-finding binos out for some time now, and they did a decent job of ranging targets under the right conditions. But you had to know what to do with that single piece of data and compute a shooting solution. Well, I've been playing with the Fury 5000 ABs for a bit, and things just got much faster. AB stands for Vortex's Applied Ballistics app, and it's probably more popular than their glass for those in the know. The Applied Ballistics app is very good at crunching numbers and coming up with a shooting solution. The Fury ABs also have onboard sensors to provide barometric pressure, direction or bearing, angle, humidity, temperature, and can even sync with a Kestrel wind meter. It will work with either a standard Bluetooth-enabled Kestrel or with an Applied Ballistics-enabled Kestrel, which will give you an even better computation. You can also use a dumb wind meter and input the data manually. The app uses your smartphone's GPS data to add an altitude to the equation and to compute Borealis effect. The user can select from one of a few pre-programmed ballistic profiles on their smartphone app, or they can input their own ballistic information such as twist rate, scope height, velocity, bullet length, ballistic coefficient, and all of the usual data that you use in your favorite ballistic calculator. You can save that data as a profile in the Fury app and pull it up on demand very easily in the field. You use the Furies like regular binos to spot game. Once you have your animal in sight, you range to the target, and the sensors and data that you have previously entered are fed into the computer, and it spits out a solution telling you how much to adjust your windage and elevation turret, an MOA or MRAP. I have to say I found the Applied Ballistics app to be very robust and account for many variables on how it receives data, and it can even use the data to compute a custom crop chart. What I did find lacking was the manual. The ballistic manual does a great job of telling you the various ways to program the binos, but it really doesn't tell you the best way to use that data. I've been using ballistic calculators for over a decade and I know how to interpret the information I get. But for those new to ballistic calculation solutions, there's a lot of data missing from the ballistic manual. This would not be as important on higher end glass, but the Furies are an entry level range finding binocular and need to provide entry level information. Now you may be asking why I consider the Fury 5000 AB binos to be entry level, and the answer is obviously the quality of the glass. These are like looking through a pair of Vortex Viper binos, and it's obvious with the amount of color aberration, edge fall off, and lack of low light clarity that these are not top end alpha glass. Now the Vipers are decent binos and by no means are they inferior glass, but they are mid-level compared to the Vortex Razors. So pairing mid-level glass with a decent computing power ballistic calculator and only average ranging capability definitely lands these in the entry-level category. And there's nothing wrong with that. The price also reflects that these are a perfect entry point for those wanting the benefits of a range-finding bino, but not yet ready to invest the hefty sums that have been needed to get into that gear. Let's talk about how well they range. They do okay. They're not the fastest on the market and they really struggle in bright daylight, but so do most rangefinders on the market. The sensor has to pick out the reflected laser in a field of light waves, but they're only marginally better in lower light. In the evening, they did grade out to about 1,200 yards on non-reflective targets and really were consistent out to about 2,200 yards on reflective targets like buildings. But they were pretty inconsistent beyond those ranges and sometimes they would give a range and sometimes they wouldn't. My biggest issue is how far off the ranging sensor is from the projected reticle in the viewfinder. Mine was sitting about half out of the sensor and about two o'clock. So I would encourage you to map your sensor and know where yours is so that you get an accurate range for the computer to use. The Fury 5000 ABs have a five button interface, but the two buttons on the right are for the standard rangefinder operation and the three buttons on the left are for the menu and for the wind functions of the AB. These binos are multi-coded and also have a phase coating on the roof prism. They also feature the Vortex ArmorTech coating to protect the lenses against scratches and to shed water and muck. They're nitrogen purged and have a great rubber armor for grip. The Fury 5000s are only available in 10x42 and come in either the standard or AB configurations. 
One area where the Vortex Fury 5000A B binoculars beat out their competition is with their lifetime, no questions asked VIP warranty. While others who offer lifetime warranties will cover the glass, they don't cover the electronics beyond a year. The Vortex VIP warranty covers every inch of these binos. I would add that you may want to get a decent bino harness for them. The included case was uncomfortable and did a terrible job of keeping them close to your body and easy to get to. They also fell out when you bent over. I put mine in the Alps Outdoors Bino Harness X, which incidentally has a rangefinder pouch on it. If you're looking to save money and weight and get all of the benefits of a ballistic calculator all in a single unit without breaking the bank, the Vortex Fury 5000 AB rangefinding binoculars are a great way to get started. Check out the entire line of rangefinders, binoculars, spotting scopes, and other tools that you need to get an edge this season at your local Sportsman's Warehouse Optics Counter or online at sportsmans.com.